Pennsylvania is expected to generate over $3.5 billion in gas tax revenue by the end of the current fiscal year. But is the revenue going where it should? Tonight, Erie News Now State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon breaks down Pennsylvania's gas tax and motor license fund in part one of this special report fueling debate. The gas tax revenue makes up the majority of the motor license fund, a fund that generates revenue for highway and bridge maintenance and construction. Rising fuel prices and an already high gas tax is now fueling debate about how Pennsylvania is spending its gas money. Some turn to start their engine. Others simply push. Some drive automatic and others manual. One thing they all have in common, the pain they feel at the pump. Flabbergasted. It's bad, it really is. Driving is becoming a taxing activity for travelers, leaving many feeling helpless as fuel prices surge. I can't do anything about it. In Pennsylvania, the price per gallon rose 60 cents just in the last month with no signs of capping anytime soon. As of right now, there is no indicator that it's going to stop increasing. This week's average of 432 per gallon puts Pennsylvania at the 14th highest fuel price in the country. However, the Commonwealth ranks third in the U.S. for highest gas tax. Pennsylvania pockets 58 cents per gallon with another 18 cents going to the federal gas tax, meaning you pay over 77 cents per gallon in taxes each time you fill the tank. But where is that revenue going? gas tax monies to go into the motor license fund and be used only for highways and bridges. The gas tax makes up nearly 80 percent of the Pennsylvania motor license fund and is a major funding source for PennDOT. We are so heavily and, and reliant on that gas tax. PennDOT Acting Executive Deputy Secretary Melissa Batula says the gas tax is like a user fee for roads and bridges. It was really looked at as those that use the system uh, should pay for the system. The whole purpose of the fund was to have it reserved for those transportation purposes. But Ted Leonard with the Pennsylvania AAA Federation says revenue from the motor license fund has been siphoned elsewhere over the years, fueling debate about where and how it is spent. The gas tax over the years has has had several legislative changes in, in uh, not only the amount, but the way that it's figured and, and levied. In the current fiscal year, the motor license fund is expected to bring in nearly $5 billion, but PennDOT will only receive $3.6 billion for roads and bridges. So that means with that pot, you know, is it's, it's trying to go many, many different places. Roughly $170 million goes to the turnpike, $250 million to driver and vehicle services, $645 million to localities, and $673 million to the Pennsylvania State Police. When you're taking uh, money out of the motor license fund, then you're not able to, to do the projects and fill the potholes. Just a few years ago, the state police received nearly $800 million from the motor license fund. Leonard says the state police need that funding, but their portion of the motor license fund has grown faster than the fund itself. But it grew and grew and grew and grew um, until the legislature finally stepped in and, and said, you know, we, we've got we to limit this. And with soaring prices at the pump, with crumbling infrastructure and with an underfunded Department of Transportation, many are raising serious concerns with how Pennsylvania is spending its gas money. As far as it going to the roads and the bridges, I don't see it. I drive these roads every day and they're just rough. It's rough terrain. Like drivers, PennDOT is feeling the holes on the roads and in their pockets with a more than $8 billion annual funding gap. The real reality is we just don't have enough to do everything we need to do. So you, you're stuck kind of making very hard decisions with which ones go forward. With 25,000 bridges and 14,000 miles of roadway to maintain, PennDOT is looking for directions and searching for alternative funding options. We have to resolve this this, it really is a crisis in our in our funding. In the meantime, drivers are stuck with no choice but to pay and pump. Yeah, the gas prices are just, they're killing, they're going to kill. People, I don't know how people are doing it with regular jobs. Join us tonight as we go one step further to uncover some of these alternative funding options and whether things like a mileage-based user fee will actually hurt or help your wallet and the state's economy. But for now, for part one of this Erie News Now special report, I'm Brendan Scanland. All right, thanks, Brendan. Again, part two tonight on Erie News Now at 11 o'clock.